then some, and then some. <laughs> In fact, everything all the way for a touchdown. Terrific play. Extra point good by Catanzaro, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Gano out to kick this one away. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit. They're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. On that incompletion, since we're hitting the home stretch of the regular season here, wanted to talk about some of the sack leaders on the defensive side of the football. Not too many surprises, really, if you look at the top seven or so. Aaron Donald. He's number one right now, 16 and a half sacks. That just tells you the greatness of Aaron Donald, that it's not a surprise to us that he leads in sacks, yet he's mainly a defensive tackle. Usually those guys are not on the top of the leaderboard. It's usually defensive ends and outside linebackers. Some of the other names in there, of course, Von Miller. He's second, and Chandler Jones right behind him. J.J. Watt, Jason Pierre, Paul, Miles Garrett, and Daniil Hunter also chasing that number. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense and guys want to be involved. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl and Luke Kinkley that picks it. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 27. Now following the interception, here's Newton. He's going to look deep down the field. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. After the interception, here's Ryan. The left side completion to Jones. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped in.